Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing Muscovy in Europe and Versailles 4. I know it's a V, but I think it's pronounced with a W sound, Muscovy. Anywho, we are in the process of integrating two vassals, and we are almost done with Perm. So say goodbye to Perm, everybody. They're going to finish in uh, two months. Oh, yeah. We just vassalized Novgorod, so it's going to be nice to get rid of one of them, because we're over our limit by a little bit. <laughs> Oh, integrating perm. Bye-bye, perm. And it looks like the Iberian wedding has occurred. Uh, so, yep. Castile now leads unions with Aragon and Naples. I guess what they changed is now, since Aragon had a union over Naples, now Castile assumes that union as well. So they got both unions. It's actually kind of cool the way that, that mechanic works. All right, someone died. Uh, just replace them with the cheap guys. That's fine. And yeah, that was a good question. Can you get an alliance with the autos? I don't think so. No, they have us set as a rival now. They took Poland out and they put us in. All right, well, fine. I'll put you in as well. You Well, I don't really want to put them in there. That's what she said. I'm really hoping that uh, they'll just leave us alone. Because they scare the shit out of me. 63,000 troops. 63,000 troops. They don't have any manpower. But they do have 63,000 troops. What the hell's our limit? We're over the limit on people already. He has 63,000 troops. We're over our limit already. I mean, there is... Oh, you can't move? You have no morale? Okay, fine. <laughs> you just stay over there and sulk in the corner, you little dickhead. You move now. Yes. Okay. So we got some cores over here. We could, we could flip the culture, but... Eh, I think it's okay. Do have a free diplomat. Let's work on Pskov. And um, who do they have as their enemy? Mr. Pskov. No, I want to see him. Novgorod, Livonian Order, and Riga. Why don't we put Livonian Order? There, a good one. Just got some little bonus with this clown. So that'll climb on its own. Or not. Welcome to another enemy of enemy bonus. That is broken. We're no longer getting enemy of enemy bonus. Yay. Yeah, I don't think they fixed this. I don't think they really looked into what's the problem here. We have Livonian Order as an enemy. They also have Livonian Order as an enemy. But we're not getting enemy of enemy bonus. You're supposed to. But this is the second time I've seen that it does not work. Oh well. All right, stop funding the army. We're still making some dollars. Hmm, dollars. And yeah, the autos have us as a rival because they're just dickheads like that. <laughs> I still don't know why we can't fund rebels in Lithuania. That's weird. No, 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 no. You don't understand. Enemy of enemy is supposed to show up right away. It's supposed to show up right away. It's supposed to say enemy of enemy zero. And then it's supposed to grow all the way up to 20. The maximum is 20. However, this one not having any effect at all. And I had this same experience in my Aragon campaign. We could not get enemy of enemy to work with our ally Austria. Just wouldn't work. Oh, Ukraine has spawned. Well, Ukraine, would you like to be my bitch? You would not because of distance between borders. Uh, however, I think it would be important to get you to like us. Yeah, don't worry about um, the Ottomans right now. Let's work on Ukraine a little bit. Let us guarantee you. That sounds like a fun thing to do. And we can tech up our admin. Let's do that. Guaranteeing counts as a frickin' thing? Really? Yeah, guaranteeing counts as a frickin' relation. Never mind. Forgot about that. I have too many relations right now. Sorry. You can go on your own. <laughs> go be free. <laughs> uh, still not getting any enemy of enemy over here. Just improve relations. Whatever. 
broken mechanic is broken. And our king died. Alright. So we have a new king, Yuri, and he's pretty bad. But he's only 15, so, you know, maybe this is Crusader Kings. Maybe we will get better over time. Nope. <laughs> now we can hit a button. Yeah, let's hit a button. Formalize weights, scales, and measures. Gives you extra tax. I approve of extra tax. Oh, we have an advisor named Seaman. Yeah. Seaman. Yeah. It's a pretty common name. I'm not sure where it comes from. Lol. But it is a pretty common name. I've seen it plenty of times before. And Hungary is just getting beat the fuck up. What is this war for anyway? Bohemian-Hungarian Punitive War. So Hungary overextended. That's the problem. They took too much land. They pissed off... Oh, wow. They took land from Venice and from Bosnia and from Serbia and from Wallachia. Wow. They took land from everyone. And uh, this is the price you pay when you take land from everyone. <laughs> wow. Bad decision, Hungary. Bad decision. Ah, we can bulb. More leader siege. Okay. We can hit another button. Fort defense. No, what a fucking horrible thing is that? <laughs> you have money. Spend it on this. No. I do want to spend it on an embassy, which I think is tech six. We don't have it yet. Yeah. Not yet. Let's see, we could start spending money on temples. Temples, that's a direct tax right there. I think that's going to be useful. Ah, crap. Choosing whether or not to waste our points on this shit. I think we will. The money's going to be so useful. I cannot even express how useful money will be. You know how it is. People like money. Austria is the emperor again. Big surprise. And another comet. Great, I like comets. We don't have any fucking admin power to, to get rid of the comet problem. Oh well. All in due time. I would like to start the annexation of Peskov before we finish with Yaroslavl. But we'll see. Not Might not be possible. Yeah, temples go till the end of the game. That's kind of why they're so awesome. We lost a claim on a bunch of provinces, but it doesn't matter because we've already got him as our fucking bitch. So I don't care. I really wish there was a way to hide just one decision. I never want to see this decision ever. Ever. Oh, wow, look at that air. 633 Ivan. Nice. Yeah, I wish there was a way to just right-click and make a decision go away. I don't want to see that decision ever. I've never used it. I don't want to use it. It's a waste of money. But you can't do that. So this thing up here, it's going to keep telling you, hey, you got something to do. You got something important to do. You got something important to do, but it's not fucking important. I don't want to see it. But if I right-click on this to dismiss it, it will never show up again. That's a fact. <laughs> it's like, damn it. Yeah, Ivan's going to be good. Ivan's going to be real good. Cannot wait for Ivan. I really wish Enemy of Enemy was working over here. Hmm. As soon as we get to 165, we can just give him a little gift. I think we can get there before the annexation is done. And then we'll see if we can get Ukraine, but we're kind of far away from Ukraine. 
they have this modifier, negative 87 for distance between borders. That's amazing. Sweden entered a coalition against us. Wait a minute, Sweden? Did you, oh, Denmark lost their union over Norway and Sweden. Wow. Denmark, you idiot. And Sweden, 20,000 dudes. Yeah, not looking good for you, Sweden. Just saying, you don't got any allies or nothing. And you're the only one in the coalition, am I right? Yep, you're the only one in the coalition against us. Apparently he's allied with Denmark, but I have not discovered Denmark yet. Oh, there it is. Fucking hell, game. You and your stupid bugs. And it says he's not allied with Sweden, it says he's allied with Norway. Oh man, <laughs> this patch is a little buggy. <laughs> So yeah, Hungary was forced to spit out Bosnia, so they're smaller than they were before, but they still did take land from Venice. Poor Venice. I don't know why Sweden's in a coalition against us. It just seems odd. But whatever. I'm not the boss of the game. Alright, get your ass home from there and give them a small gift. Like I do to all the ladies. And annex that ship. Ooh, Sweden's at war with Poland, Lithuania. Nice. guys eat a dick. <laughs> Can we run through your lands and like make your army suffer attrition? No. No. Oh, come on, man. It won't be that bad. You're used to attrition, man. No. No. Okay, what is wrong with this mission? It's called Subjugate Novgorod. I've done that. Novgorod is my subject. But no, the mission objective is to actually own territory. That's a little silly. <laughs> Just a little. <laughs> oh man, stupid Ottomans. Why'd you have to set me as a rival? You little bastard. Oh, he's at war with Serbia. That's going to be a, a tough war. <laughs> um, sure, you can have a little bit of authority. That's fine. Man, that crappy general is just so fucking crappy. Alright, give me a little bit more stability, please. And uh, we'll do some more temples. I likes me some temples. Oh yes I do. Lordy lordy. Like me some temples. <laughs> Our army has seen better days. Aww. Lose stability or five prestige. Well, it's okay. <laughs> we don't have any prestige anyway. Apparently we are a competing great power, even though Denmark is tiny. Well, no, Denmark does have land over here, but they're still sort of tiny. I bet they would help us in a war against Sweden. <laughs> God, Sweden's allies are terrible.
I hope after this mission with Novgorod, we get other cool missions. That'd be awesome. France is in some big war. Do you guys know what comes after we annex Novgorod? What's the next mission? I know you guys have done Muscovy before. I haven't. I don't care if you're Australian. <laughs> you better have answers for me. Bulb another bulb. Cheaper units. Sounds good to me. Cheaper maintenance, I mean. They probably shouldn't call it maintenance. They should probably call it, like, payment. Because you're paying these guys a salary or something, right? Alright, Yaroslav is done. Uh, do I really need your four units? Not really, but we'll keep them, I guess. What harm could they do, right? Go over... Go over. Go, go, go over there. Go. Go. You have no morale. Fair enough. Now you have morale. Okay, who's going to be closer? Riazan's going to be closer to annexation, but that would give us a direct border with the autos, and I'm thinking that's probably a bad idea, so why don't we go ahead and annex Twer instead? should get enemy of enemy with them, but their their only enemy is Riazan, our other vassal. Your vassals should not be allowed to set your other vassals as enemies. That doesn't make any sense. Still don't have any good missions, unfortunately. So what do we need for Russia? We need... Ryazan or Smolensk? Twer or Yaroslavl? Oh, so we kind of do have to do Ryazan. We have to do Ryazan if we want this. In fact, that's the last thing we need. We need tech level 10 and we need Ryazan. Damn. Well, we'll just wait. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep Ryazan as a vassal for a while. We'll, t probably, take, we'll probably integrate Novgorod first. ready to westernize. Oh, we're two techs away. Come on, Sweden. <laughs> Come on, Sweden. You can do it, Sweden. Oh, man, I can't wait to hit this button. Conquest causes belly on Kazan. Where? Over here. Yudmertia. Alright. That's cute. I'm not gonna use it, but that's cute. More temples. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess we can. There's only a couple other places to build them. Done. All the temples are done. Useful stuff, those things. Come on, Sweden, hurry up with your tech. Lazy Sweden is lazy. <laughs> We're in a coalition against Muscovy. Our general died. No, oh, just get a new one. Oh, that guy's way better than the last guy. Way better. Regimental pride. Stay calm and take pride. <laughs> I can't 
can't believe they put that in the game. I guess I can, though. Paradox likes to do that shit. Why are we funding mercs? Because we can, and it saves a lot of time. We have money anyway, I don't care. <laughs> oh, come on, Sweden. Freaking waiting on you. Always waiting on Sweden, right? That, that, that seems to be a common thing. Who do you guys have as enemy? Oh, that's right. I can't do anything about that. I forgot about that one. Yeah, mercs are so useful right now. Because you get... Just standing in enemy territory, you take attrition now. Anytime you're sieging, you take attrition. It's not just the defensive ideas. It used to be you had to have defensive ideas to force enemies to take attrition in your land, but that's not true anymore. Now you just always do. It's like, okay. Okay, patch. I'll play your game, rogue. Hmm. A gift probably won't be enough. Well... No, a gift won't be enough here. Damn it. Well, it might be, though. A couple years from now, maybe? Oh, God. <laughs> Nobles want me to lose stability. Either we lose two or we lose one. We'll lose one, because we have extra cash. Stupid nobles. The hell do you know? Um, hmm... Armories might be really nice for the extra manpower. I think we'll go for constables, though. Constables, constables. What kind of balls? Constables. <laughs> Clicking buttons. feels threatened by us. That's kind of cute. Ah, crap. We are out of time again, my friends. So we must end this episode here. That's okay, though. I will see you next time in the land of Muscovy. Okay? Adios. <laughs> Muchacho. Muchacho. <laughs>